Generally, bulk samples of aggregate must be reduced to an appropriate testing size to determine its physical characteristics. The most commonly used mechanism to reduce bulk samples is using a mechanical splitter. The mechanical splitter is especially designed to minimize variations of the aggregate characteristics between the smaller test sample and the larger bulk sample. But poor use of appropriate sample splitting techniques may result in a non-representative testing sample, inaccurate testing results, and failure of the aggregate to perform as intended. Today we're going to talk about two material sampling tips when using a mechanical splitter that if unintentionally admitted during the splitting process could result in a non-representative sample being obtained. Tip 1. It is important to set the mechanical splitter on a level surface, whether on the laboratory floor or on a tabletop. If set on an uneven surface, the splitter will divide the materials unevenly. Tip 2. Once you pour the whole sample into the hopper, spread it evenly from edge to edge. This helps the material flow smoothly and evenly through the chutes when the hopper gates are open. By following these tips and sample dividing procedures as required by ASTM and ASHTO standards, an aggregate bulk sample reduced to a laboratory test sample will have minimal variations in the aggregate characteristics. For any questions concerning sampling or dividing aggregate samples, or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.